Hello and welcome back. So, uh, I'm looking at the Mr. FPGA um, at the moment. Um, I'll just give you a quick tour of the boards, which I've got two boards here, and also the case, and then um, I'll set it up and uh, show some footage of um, ne Neo Geo games, okay? So, this is the board. Uh, it's a Mr. FPGA board. It's actually two boards. Um, it's got um, the the actual original board is underneath it. You can see I've got a heat sink on it. Um, it's um, and the top board, which you can see here, is the I/O board. Uh, the basic board underneath, if you have a look there, see it's got HDMI out. Uh, it's got the power supply in, and it's also got a USB port there. It's also got v VGA. Oh, sorry, that's the top board. Sorry. Um, yes, yeah, so the basic board outputs to HDMI. Um, on that side you've got the uh, Ethernet port, uh, another USB port, or a USB um, mini I think that is, uh, and a USB-C. The I.O. board on the top uh, has got the, uh, you know, uh, what we've got there, reset, uh, on-screen display and a user button. Um, it's also got space for a fan. I do have a fan, which I'll show in a minute, but unfortunately, I haven't got any of the, um, I haven't got any screws to mount it with, so I've left it off for now. I don't know whether you actually need a fan. I mean, a heat sink is on there, and there's a, um, a bit of an air gap as well. There's a um, USB C slot there, which I don't think is used. I don't think you can use that for anything. Um, and on the top. You've got the v, VJ output. Um, to be perfectly honest, let's have a look at this side. To be perfectly honest, um, got an SD card slot in there, I think, uh, somewhere, and a button as well. Um, the top board can output c composite uh, video. Uh, to be honest, I'm just going to use it as um, uh, HDMI. Um, I don't re really need it. Um, I just got the I/O board for the buttons mainly, um, and because it's got a second SD card slot. Um, also, in here, where you see it says this side faces outwards. That's um, I've got the 128 meg RAM expansion fitted as well um, because um, I wanted um, Neo Geo games, um, and some of the Mr. Cores do not won't run games, certain games, if you haven't got enough RAM. Um, so, uh, you know, so that that's why I got that board as well. I've also got, which, uh, which you can see in there, I think you can see, sorry about the camera work there, There's a, um, I've also got the real-time clock as well, which, um, you know, which obviously keep, keeps the time. So, um, if for people that don't know, the Mr... FPGA is a um, computer which can emulate other computers. Um, so the emulation is actually hardware. So it's hardware emulation, which means, uh, to all intents and purposes, um, this machine will run the machines it emulates exactly the same as uh, the original machines. But you can obviously use multiple cores as they're called on this um so that that's the board i got this from a digikey uh in the us if you're in the uk the digikey web website um you can you can pay for it and uh they charge you vat which means you you don't get um you you don't get um charged uh customs which is good it took about uh, three or four days to arrive, which is also good. Um, so that's the board. Um, I've forgotten off the top of my head what, what the board is called. I will look, look it up uh, and mention it when we uh, when I show the footage. Okay, um, so that's that. I also got um, from uh, the same person that I got the, the I.O. board from, which was a guy on eBay... Um, I, I've also got a 3D printed case, um, which I'll put back together in a minute, uh, so you can see it complete. And I also got um, a little USB hub, 
which you can buy buy on Amazon for about four or five pounds. So you get um, a few more USB ports, which is also good. Um, you get four. There's there's like one on the end there as well. So four USB hubs. So once it's all together, uh, I'll carry on and um, you can see it. And then um, I'll show some footage of the Neo Geo core. Okay, so it's back together now. As I say, I got got this case uh, from someone on eBay. Um, I think it's really, really, really good. Um, that there, there are other cases that you can get. You can also get the schematics. I think so that if you've got access to a three D printer, you can actually print them yourself. So my SD cards in there. Um, the um, the USB hub uh, that I had. Um, in there is plugged, plugged into that that port on the side, and so you've got that those bits there again. That US what looks like a USB three port isn't actually used. I think it's a service port for the board for firmware updates, possibly. Um, I say there's um, that, that side of it. Sorry about the camera work. That's better. So then on front, you've obviously got buttons uh, for pressing that, and also obviously a big a big um, an opening for if you've got a fan. Um, just incidentally, if I put that down there a second, this is the fan I bought. So if anybody's interested, um, that's the fan I got. Again, from eBay, it's about £12, I think. Um, but at the moment, um, I, I need some screws to mount it. Um, so that's that's the fan. Right, so on with the footage. Hello and welcome back. Um, before I show the footage, uh, I said I'd mention what the board was. The board is a DE10 Nano Cyclone 5 uh, by Terrasic. Um, I also, I think, forgot to mention that um, uh, someone else can correct me on this, but I'm a bit, a bit of a noob with this, um, so I'm finding my way. Um, but you, you, you need a keyboard, as far as I can tell. Um, I will try um, again at some point with um, a joypad or whatever installed. Um, but um, you, you, you hit F12 on the keyboard, you get this menu. There's various things you can do. There's update scripts, etc., etc. I've got some arcade, uh, some arcade ROMs on here. Um, but what I want to do really is show the uh, Neo Geo. We'll just wait for it to start up. There we go. So with each core, you do get settings. So you can set the system type to be, uh, you know, uh, M MVS or AES, the Uni BIOS, what video mode you want, whether a me memory card is plugged in, things like, like that. You've also got scan doubler, uh, you know, aspect ratio, da 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 uh, Various settings. So I will load up... Um, my go-to is always Metal Slug, um, and again, the um, when I put this together, I kind of knew ahead of time that um, that you need the 128 meg expansion for for uh, this core. Um, so I'll just show footage of a few games, uh, a couple of games with running, so you can see how smooth they are. Uh, capture card aside, of course. Um, they're very quick to load as well, which is good. You've got your uni BIOS there, which you can change settings and cheats and things. Um, and just to reiterate, this is hardware em emulation. It's not software. So this should be, uh, or is, uh, cycle accurate emulation of the original hardware. So, you know, th this is as good as playing on the original oh, machine. It's a good option. Obviously, Neo Geo's especially are quite expensive. The games are horrendously expensive. Um, so if you re really want, you know, um, the best of the best, if you like, um, this is the way to go. It's not the cheapest option. Obviously, something like a, a Raspberry Pi... Uh, or an XU4 or something with emulation will be fine but they're not always accurate this is a real kind of enthusiast plat platform so it's not as cheap it, I mean to put together the whole thing probably cost me uh, a couple of hundred pounds um, but at least with this you know you really are getting 
you know, hardware accuracy. Um, if I just put on, um, let's put on the um, scanning scan part. So HQ2, that's a really good one for HDMI. It smooths everything out, which is really really nice. Um, although not to everyone's taste, um, well, the way I prefer it is like this. Is um, sorry, wrong button. Um, I, prefer, I actually prefer 50% scan scan lines. Although again, that can be a bit too extreme. You can obviously there you go. 25% is just probably just just right for some. Um, and again, there's there's you know the, the slowdowns that you get with this game are exactly the same as you would with the actual cartridge. Um, so let's try another one. This is the one that I usually test because I think I'm pretty sure King of Fighters 2003 is one of the biggest carts that they ever made. Um, so if this one runs, I definitely know my uh, 128 meg expansion is working um, okay. Um, I will over the coming weeks show show um, different cores and how they perform, um, but yeah, I mean this this was an absolute. This is something I've been sort of keeping my eye on for ages. The FPGA community and uh, on GitHub, there's so many tutorials, you know, forum posts, uh, videos to help you assemble these things, put them together. Um, I say I, I did. I did go through, and I spent a lot of time finding out, uh, you know, whether or not you need the, the I/O board because you technically don't need the I/O board um, if you're not going to have a fan, if you're not going to use uh, the VGA out or the composite out. Um, um, so you don't necessarily need that board if you're just going for HDMI. Um, then you can go ahead and just u use the standard uh, D D10 board um, cases. There are 3D printed plans online, so plans for 3D printing your own case if you've got access to one. Alternatively, again, there are people on eBay that sell these things. Um, you know, I just went out and just got all all of the bits. I was quite lucky to get the 128 meg expansion. Uh, because I know they can be in short su supply. So yeah, all in all, this probably cost me a couple of hundred pounds to build. Um, but in my opinion, worth every penny and is probably going to keep going for years. There are cores for all major computers. The Amiga core, I know, is meant to be ever so good. Um, there's like Commodore 64. There's virtually every console you can think of. Up to, I think, the latest one. Um, they've just... The Neo Geo was the latest one. They've just add, added Mega CD, which I've yet to try. Um, but I have tried um, Mega Drive um, stuff, and that works perfectly as well. So I will probably show more videos in the future of this machine and some of the stuff running on it. Um, so there we are. Um, that's about it for this video. Um, if you like this and want to see more please like and subscribe and please leave um comments um you know with any questions or think or cause you would like to see and i'll endeavor to get those done if you've got any questions on certain aspects of, of it like with, you know the usb hub to use things like like that um or just any questions on how to set one of these things up um leave a comment and i will do do my best to um to um, help. Alright guys, until next time, thanks.